juggling a lot. A lot of people are out of work, facing economic uncertainty, really struggling. So all of these stressors tend to exacerbate any cracks in the relationship or any struggles. So mm -hmm. the first is to be aware of what your triggers are, when you're getting triggered. I, I like to think of, if, if you think about your anger and your frustration, let's go from zero to 10. 10 being you're screaming at your partner and you're I'm at saying- 10 usually. I'm usually, I'm usually at 10. Go on. <laughs> yeah. well, that, that's why we want to keep you out of a relationship for a while <laughs> until you learn some skills. But and zero being like you're totally calm, cool, like hanging on the couch, feeling good. You want to look at what is that point of no return? Like as your anger mounts, as your frustration mounts, and we all have you know, our frustrations on a day-to-day -day basis, you want to be taking your temperature. You want to go, okay, what is that point of no return? For a lot of people, maybe a seven or an eight. Let's say yours is an eight. Mm -hmm. What you want to do is be taking your temperature and checking in and going, okay, where am I on this scale right now? Okay, you know what? When you get about two points lower than your breaking point, so if you're an eight, when you hit a six, it's time to take a timeout. I really like timeouts for adults. I don't like them very much for kids, which is a whole other thing. But to be able to say to your partner, plan it in advance. Hey, I heard this therapist talk with Ryan Fu, and she recommended couples take a timeout when things are getting too heated. Because what happens is if you're too hot when you have the conversation, it's not gonna be productive. It's a waste of your time. People just get their feelings hurt. People say terrible things to each other. Take a time out. When you hit a six, hey, I think I'm too worked up to have a productive conversation. Let's take a break. Let's meet back in the kitchen an hour or let's sleep on this and talk about it in the morning. You're not abandoning your partner. You're not screaming and running out the door, but say, hey, I'm too hot right now. Like I can't talk about this right now, but I do want to work this out. Let's talk about this later. So she's about to throw that beer bottle at me. I'm gonna like, let's take a time out here. Two points <laughs> below the beer bottle throwing. That's when you want to take the time out. Beautiful. Um, since the COVID lockdown, the 